My name is Susie, I play the harp and I've been in the RPO for 11 years. It's hard because you could say the traditional opinion of a harpist is very romantic but actually the reality isn't that. For a start moving the harp which is such a big cumbersome thing and heavy, keeping it in tune all the time, changing the strings, making sure that you always arrive very early, all of these things aren't romantic at all. The harp adds atmosphere and creates a sort of a different sound world than any other instrument can offer and provide. It can accent certain melodies or it can create depth of sound through chords or it can have a flourish of a glissando. And you often use it as an accompaniment to a solo line which works really well in Mahler, in Strauss, in, in anything really. So the one thing that everybody wants to do is always play a glissando. And the amount of people who walk past and just like go, Doo -doo. and it's fine, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, it's quite funny. They, I guess they like the sound because you don't really have that on any other instrument. You are sort of this, I guess, unique section of your own. You're not the strings, but you have a lot of strings. You're not percussion because it's more tuned. It's got a place of its own, really. Because of how you sit with the harp, it's sort of all within you, and you feel all these sound waves coming out of you. But I really, really love playing in an orchestra because I like more than anything to be amongst all these amazing musicians around me. I think the gift that the RPO gives someone like me is the variety of things that we do. I have a lot of friends who aren't musicians and I could easily find something every month that each person would be happy to come and see because it's so versatile. We all want to be here and we all want to be doing these concerts. The way the RPO plays, no matter where we are, is what's so great about it. <laughs>